Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here. In today's software tutorial, we will learn how to create a comment thread feature by creating linked records with hidden fields. Okay, a quick run through of the end result. We have a list of cafes here, and then I can click on a cafe to go into its um, specific page, which I then see the comments and ratings left by other users. I can also comment and give ratings which once I submit, it will show up here as well. And my comments left for this cafe will only show up on this cafe's page because I have created a link between my comments and also this cafe. Now let's quickly do an overview of our software studio setup. This feature requires four major blocks. A list block where it shows um, all the cafes in our database a list detail block in the new page, uh, which the user would be directed to upon clicking on a specific cafe. And in this list details block, it shows more detailed properties such as Google map location, the preview thumbnail, and also the title, uh, which if you wonder how to do the Google map embed, check out my previous tutorial here. Moving on, the third one is another list detail block, uh, another list block on the same page. But this time for comments, I would suggest to use the timeline list block, which in my opinion looks best for our use case. Last but not least, a custom form where users can submit their comments. To make sure the comments are linked to a specific cafe, um, let's first jump into Airtable and set up our database. We have two tables in this space, one called cafe, which hosts all the cafe records and another one called comments, which has four fields right now, name, comment, rating, and created date. The way we are going to link these comments to a specific cafe is by creating a link record. Uh, we do so by adding a new field and we will select link to another record. We want the comments to be associated to a specific cafe. So we will link it to our cafe table. We will be naming these cafe linked and create this field. It will prompt us to add lookup fields. In our case, we are going to toggle the location name. Do not skip this lookup field step because this lookup field is needed to help us filter our comments later. We will rename these to location name lookup so it becomes less confusing later. Okay. Now we have the linked record set up. We can test it by clicking on the plus icon here and select the cafe that we want this comment to be associated with. For example, we'll link these two comments to Arabica and this one to Watch House. And now we come back to the cafe table, we can see that um, there, are comment, there is a comment field generated and they show all the comments made specifically for uh, the cafes, which we just linked on the other side. So our linked records works as expected. Obviously in your application, the users won't be coming to your database and link their comments up manually. Um, so we need to set up our custom form um, to link the comments automatically to the cafes. Um, so let's go into the software studio and figure, configure our custom form to do exactly that. In the custom form, the first three fields are um, pretty obvious, pretty simple. One for the name, one for rating, um, which I also covered previously in the ratings tutorial. So if you're interested, check it out. And uh, one for comments. These three user inputs will be passed to these three fields in the comments table. The last field, which would be a hidden field, is the one that will link these comment submission to the specific cafe in this list details block. We will use the following code here, which I will also provide in the description down below. What this code does is pass the record ID of this cafe shown in the list details block to our link cafe fields here. And by passing this record ID into this field, it will automatically create the link for us. At this point, uh, the custom form is all ready to go. 
Uh, one more thing that we need to do here is to add a conditional filter to our comment list block here. Right now, uh, we, do, we do not have a con conditional filter, which means that if we go into the application, all of the comments made by the users are going to be displayed in this timeline, which means that even comments for Arabica will appear on Watch House's page, which is not what we want. So we want to add a condition where location name lookup, it's cafes, location name. Two important notes here. Um, I have mentioned previously that we need to add a lookup field location name. Um, even though this lookup field on surface present the same information as the cafe linked field. But the reason we need the lookup field is because software does not read um, the linked field. So we need to use the lookup field instead to help us filter our comments. Um, the second note is that for these to work, do not forget that your page must have a list details block. Uh, because the second part of this condition, this input, this value here, the cafe option only appears if you have a list details block for it to refer to. I've made this mistake before and I was pulling my hair out of, for it. So yeah, just a heads up for you. If you only see um, locked in users fields here and you don't, you don't see anything else, it's because you do not have a list details block on this page. With this conditional, uh, conditional filter set up, our comment system is ready to go. Um, let's publish this and give it a try. I'll come to Arabica and leave a new comment here. And once it is submitted, we can see that there is a new comment record created in the database and it is linked to Arabica. And let's quickly see if this comment appears elsewhere. Let's come to watch house and, and we do not see the comment, which means that our system works. And there you have it. Um, this is how you can create a comment thread feature on software by uh, using linked, uh, linked records and we can create the linked records with hidden fields. Um, hope this video helped. Um, if, you, if it did, um, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. Um, if you're still a little bit confused, do not hesitate to contact me um, through my website. I do offer free consultation. Uh, if you don't want to book a consultation with me, you can also just leave a comment down below. I will answer them uh, when I see them. So until next time, ciao.